Hello everybody, we're back again, uh, provided I can right-click, I guess I can't. So I can't tell them hello, good luck, uh, this hand, just fine. We're going to Zenith on the first turn for the bird, so I believe that we're, oh, we're on the draw, okay, um, against Affinity, ooh, hand is not so fine. A little better, a little better. Uh, chances are that he's playing the uh, Glimpse Affinity. In which case, let's go ahead and find out. Glimpse, two bodies. I'll leave him with the two bodies and Zenith here. Not exactly the... Uh, best situation for him or us. Oh, wait. What the? Yeah. I'm still a little tired. Um, this is actually a two-man as well, so <laughs> mistakes are a little, little bit worse off. Um, yeah, that kind of sucked. Well, let's find out what he's going to do. Uh, we're going to play the Stoneforge Mystic next turn and get the Jit there we go. That's the name of that card. Um, or he's going to go get his plating. E. Uh, <laughs> he went and got his jet. Which he... I think that we're still okay. Like this, that green sun zenith really hurt. Um, I got tired of actually waiting in the practice room. So you guys are getting a mix of practice room decks versus non-practice room decks. Still haven't been able to find a daily when I'm on. Um, that's unfortunate, but hey, sorry. I figured uh, I took a little bit of a break from the last one as well. Ugh. And that was just simply because... I didn't have it in me anymore to if I do that I'm gonna be in big trouble next turn and I know that uh, but I oh do we have to we're gonna hold off he's only had three draws now we'll hope that he doesn't should have done it oh well we live and we learn. This is not exactly the best situation for us. Knowing that he has this, though, that's at least a little bit helpful. Um, we know that this is going to be... Oh, by Plus, he's got that jit up in hand. Yeah, we're in... We're in big trouble. So we keep hold of this. We're going to go get our batter skull now. Like, he's got his jit, and as much as I would like to equip and do everything, the batter skull, I feel, will be a little bit better. Um, we can at least blow up his jit right now, which is important. And uh, get that out of my face. Shrugged my shoulders, and the microphone went almost into my mouth. Sorry about that, if you could hear me breathing and the like. Don't want him casting any more spells, but I know that he's got a Jit and two unknowns in hand. Do I have? Yeah, I didn't think I did. There we go. So, combat. This is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next turn, he can swing for four.
We should be wastelanding this. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not exactly thrilled about this. May have thrown this one away early, early on. If I was him, I would have swung with this as well. Zealous Persecution is going to end up killing one, two, three. Oh, God. Yeah, I think I'm done playing around here. And he, he figured out the wasteland there. So let's see here. No Kataki. Dope. That would be cute, though. Um, we're going to keep this, these, this. His version, we can't really afford to take out all of our discard, which is rather unfortunate. Uh, we can afford to take out this. Well, this is life gain, but it's slow. What are we going to do? Oh. These won't be any good. So let's see, anything else that we want? You're too slow. You don't kill enough is the problem. So we're a little bit faster, a little more streamlined, and still able to kind of fight him. We don't want him thought casting and doing whatnots, but unfortunately we're kind of in a situation where we don't have much of a choice. Um, Zealous Persecution didn't look like it's going to do the most amazing job, but at least it'll limit some of his play. Alright, so as soon as he's ready, we'll be off to the races. This will be a rather unfortunate loss. Let's see... Like, Dolly is good for killing stuff before it hits. But we have enough. We have 18 creatures. That would bring it up to 20. What would we be getting rid of? Be getting rid of the tops. Oh, I guess I didn't submit. Alright. And we are keeping this. So, let's see what he's got. I'm not expecting any legendary creatures out of him. I am going to go get Arjit. We'll try and kill off his side as fast as possible. I would love Wastelands as well. Uh, if he just plays the same thing that he did last time, which I don't see him opening up like that this time. Hmm. Are we starting off with the Xenith? Or the uh, Glimpse? Yep. So next turn we'll be shooting something of his. This is way too early for him to be starting this off. The turn after that we're going to play... Ugh. So we can only hope that that was just a draw to. Alright, so we have a choice between here and here, and I actually think that this is the bigger threat. Um, do we just hold and just play the jet? Well, if that was the case, I should have played this land. That way I could have at least fetched a blocker there. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm thinking I maybe should have gone for this. Can't hit that. Unfortunate, but true. Because if he plays an Etched Champion this turn, the game is over. But there's a good chance that he may have another one of these in hand already. So there goes the Etched Champion. We 
There's a second signal pass. So in order of things that we're killing right now, we have one, two. Bear fight. That'll be good the next turn. And it'll be good to stick a jit on it. Alright. Um, I should really be worrying about Blood Moon, so I'm going to grab this forest. I know it hasn't been seen in a while, but it does exist and does occasionally happen. Yep. And I'm actually going to hold these until uh, pre-combat. Okay, so that'll keep this tapped. These don't have additional abilities other than mana, so they will untap just as normal. I think I can afford to take three and just keep mana up. Take it back, take it back. Alright. So we have one go to stop something with that, and a very small creature. That's nice, though. So this won't untap because of this. And it's pointless to attack with this, because he can just block it. Next turn, we can at least pump this up to a 2-3 and fight anything that we need to, hopefully. Again, if he plays at your champion, we're kind of in that situation where it's like, uh, it's not going to be pretty. Wasteland. Goes for the Savannah. So he is attacking our mana base there. I will save that, and we'll just get in this way. I can fight it as well, and we can go from there. Okay, that's fine. So we're still okay. Bird, alright, so colors are made. Don't forget this can also be offensive right now, it's 3 power. So just something awkward to think about but he's drawing cards which means yep it means hopefully we can get a bigger creature all right i would wish that we had a green life linking creature but unfortunately we do not what we do have right now Should have been a scavenging goes. Now let's move that, pull this up. Because he's got one, two, three creatures in there. Yeah, I'm going to grab the scavenging ooze and just suck up the wasted mana. Um, it may not be very big, it may not be very powerful, but it's something. And this turn we can stop an attack from anything too big and kill it. And then from there, kind of fight off the rest of his team, hopefully. Um, he's already played his JIT. If he's got a second one, that could get problematic. But hopefully we can uh, fight it off. Counting on fighting a lot here. Hmm. And we can still stop that first hit. So, yeah, he has a second JIT. Uh, right now he does not have the mana to play and equip it, so that'll be helpful. And he can't instant speed move it, which is the big thing about uh, the other one, <laughs> as you can see my technical terms. Alright, that is a Zealous Persecution target. That is a Zealous Persecution target. That is a Zealous Persecution target. And 
she's attacking. I will take two. So we have zealous persecution this way and bear fighting afterwards. So I can actually afford to let him swing and then completely obliterate him. And if that doesn't work, if he doesn't swing, I can eat something in his graveyard which will raise this up and fight anything. Right now I'm leaning towards this frog or this ornithopter just because it's a flyer. Uh, second after that would be the Vault Scourge, which would gain him a life, and the Signal Pest after that. These three I can block, so in in order, like, it should be this, because this is technically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 damage, but I'm going to negate all of that, killing off 1, 2, 3, uh, fighting off, being able to block the Stone Forge to the Frogmite, the tracker to the mystic and fighting the ornithopter or even blocking well I don't want to I can block the ornithopter so I can I can literally wipe his board here he's got his own scavenging ooze mm. he's got two green mana we've got two green mana this is still fine his card in hand is legit yeah we're gonna blow him out So, Stoneforge didn't attack. Yep. I'm going to block Bird. Stoneforge. white, black, so he'll be left with this stone forge and this scavenging ooze. And I don't care about his scavenging ooze growing. At this point, I'm just going to fight his stone forge. Wrong card. Alright, select target ours, select target his. Actually, yeah, that'll become a 3 3, so we'll just fight the stone forge. So we have a JIT versus us. You can cheat it into play if you want. There's a knight. Alright, so... Let's just kill this now. Not too worried about whatever you grab. We know the card in hand is legit. This game is wrapped up, or at least it should be in theory. And we can. I'm just going to get in here for the four. Uh, if he doesn't play anything, then I will go a little bit bigger. If he does play something, I'll fight it at end of turn. I can't think of anything in that deck that that's bigger than three. So, I mean, he could play a second uh, scavenging ooze, in which case I'll go to eat something. He'll go to eat it. Okay, there's the jit. Don't care. Need a creature for that. All right. 
So yeah, we should be pretty good here. Marsh Flats, that's another bayou. We just want green sources. Like there was a point when I was worried about it and was playing around things, but not anymore. You see your graveyard signal pressed. M night. Another game that Tracker just completely cuts my opponent out. We would have definitely been doing this, but it would have been a lot slower at this point. Being able to have that, uh, uh, stupid, stupid card, uh, Zealous Persecution made this a lot faster, so. And barring, uh, Revoker, we should be able to kill him next turn. All right, game three. Let's hope that I don't green sun for nothing again. Do we want anything? Timely reinforcements actually does seem a little appealing. I wish these flew, though. That's the one thing. Uh, I don't use Lingering Souls, even though it's four tokens, because they don't fly. I don't use Pulse, because it doesn't give you the guys. Both of them I've tried, and this actually has been the best one. So let's take a look here. Is there anything that we don't want? more than this. Kinda don't want the discard anymore, but I think for right now, yeah. Let's get that back up there. And let's go. Game three, let's see if we can do this. If this doesn't work, I'll go back to playing the binding of Isaac. I'm feeling a lot better by the way, if anybody's wondering. Alright, let's see. So, and when I say I'm feeling a lot better, I'm saying, like, earlier I was actually, like, for some strange reason, extremely upset. Um, I'm actually going to keep this. I'm going to keep this because I can go first turn bear fight playing sword, or keeping sword up. So, I know, I rely on that bear a lot. Don't do that again the first turn. Thank you. Ugh. A lot of grunting as well. I may actually sword that, but we'll see. Alright, so slight deviation from the plan. I think I'm going to set him back to just having that one card in hand. the one that he did play. So, I mean, if he's got another series of things that he can do, yeah, he has access to it, but hopefully that will slow him down enough. Uh, next turn, we can play the bear fight and zenith for zero. Yes, we can zenith for zero this time. There's a pest. Not as worried about the pest. He didn't play a land yet, so there's a petal. He could draw two cards. And there's a goif. I'm going to get a basic because he does have wastelands. And. So if we draw a land. We can play Jit, equip Jit, and swing. And the next turn, have up uh, move Jit, and is he just trying to keep the mana up? I'm not sure. What does pull up Thoughtcast eventually here and take a look at it? So this his hand was not very good from looking at it this way. 
could easily be wrong and him just go like champion and then it's like okay well I'll fight there and I'll fight there and I'll be held behind your champion for a little while okay so he's out of cards this I can deal with we can't block anything but we have creature superiority I guess and I kinda wanna hold this like taking one damage isn't a big deal I'd rather keep the Maze of Ith in case we draw another diamond um, don't care about my exile cards either not anymore one two Stoneforge Mystic uh, so there went the JIT plan. I'm going to pop those for a JIT. Should have. Nope, wrong one. Cancel. For some reason I thought I clicked there. I'm having a lot of trouble today. There's no question there. If we could have killed off two of his creatures, that would have been great. But unfortunately, we can't. There's his jet. I would love a pulse right now. There's a signal fest. I'll take Bob. Playing that out there now just simply because of the fact that even though I'd only be taking three damage and I'm fine with that, there's four lands on my side of the field and Bob, so Bob's probably going to find a land. I mean, there's three more missing, so that's seven lands which means there's 16 left that's annoying still even if it's a JIT it has to wait a while removal? nope just the goyf We're looking for removal. Pulse would be great. Just being able to pulse these two, even though he's going to get the jet into play this turn. Um, I just pulsed the jet. What am I talking about? Half of his deck costs one or none. Jet plus something in hand. What do we got? What do we got? Oh. Currently 2.15 in the afternoon on a Sunday. Pre-release Sunday. There's Glint Hawk. So, yeah, that was free. Are we getting to the point where Goyf can't swing anymore? Not yet. Goyf can still hit. There's Thalia, that makes Jit cost one more. Also makes it so that the only creatures that can attack with Jit are these two. And next turn he has to start blocking. Because next turn we get to swing with Thalia as well. So he's going to cheat that in. Still need a wasteland, sir. Still need a wasteland. 
Otherwise, it's just Thalia that's swinging in. I am going to fetch this time. I didn't last turn just simply because I, I didn't want to end up taking damage off Bob. I should have fetched just because I can get rid of, like, if I had hit the pulse, I could have gotten a land out and I could have hit the pulse. Like, even if I hit the batter skull that's in the deck, that's 5 life from 21, that's 16. So, he's at 5. We're going to be swinging. Yep, what you tapping? Thalia can still swing through his side. Um, if we find the Caracas, that means that Thalia gets to kill something and then bounces and replays. So, not that flyer. It's going on the Stone Forge. That's fine. Looking for a pulse. And I'm going to go get basics with these. Whoops, should have gotten the planes. Zealous Persecution. That is awesome. So... He has to block two things. He has to actually block all three, but he doesn't know that. He can't block Thalia. And the best part is he doesn't even know this is about to happen. Well, that for sure is wrong. Like, okay. And even after screwing up that very first part, we're going to take this game and we're going to shovel it. If you don't know your Demolition Man, that's where it's from. Or is it Judge... No, it's Demolition Man. It's the one where they pull him into the future. It's Judge Dredd or Demolition Man. I don't remember which one came first, but I know that that's from Demolition Man. And whichever one came first, the other one's just part two. I don't know what he's thinking with this. We're still going to get to kill both of them, which is awesome. Which one are you? Okay. So you're the one blocking there. Like, I could have held back something like this and made it look like I didn't have the Zealous Persecution, but, I mean, why? Making it look like something's happening and just flat out winning the game are two very different things. Alright, so he's made his decision, and now the blowout card that he knows is there. Bam. All of his guys are tiny. And that should be it. Still not playing this. Makes him think that we have stuff. GG's. GG. And our opponent has conceded. So there we go. Um, hopefully the next one will be able to get another... Hey, they're firing. It's good to know. Another two-man. Otherwise, I'll head back to the practice room if this takes too long. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.